In the previous chapters, we learned how to install and run Nexus Dashboard. Now, it is time to do something with it. In this chapter, we will learn how to add sites to Nexus Dashboard and provide your cluster with internet connectivity to download services to it, such as automated site-to-site -site interconnect and insights. Let's start with the first objective, adding sites. Nexus Dashboard allows you to onboard multiple sites and manage them centrally, including on-prem ACI, cloud ACI, and DCNM or NDFC sites for NXOS platforms. Before we start adding sites, it is important that you check the release versions and compatibility between your ACI, Cloud ACI, or NDFC platforms and Nexus Dashboard. Remember, you can find this in the compatibility matrix as mentioned in previous chapters. You should also be able to reach your site controllers from your Nexus Dashboard Management Network interfaces. If you will enable Nexus Dashboard Inside Service, keep in mind that you will also need to enable connectivity between your site's inbound network and the Nexus Dashboard Data Network interfaces. We will cover how to configure inbound networks and enable insights on Nexus Dashboard in a future chapter. After covering the prerequisites, let's go back to our recently installed Nexus dashboard. Click Let's Go and then Begin Setup to open the first time setup wizard. In the Add Site section, click Begin. Then click on Add Site and select the type of site you want to add. ACI for on premises ACI sites managed by Cisco APIC. Cloud ACI for Cloud ACI sites managed by Cisco Cloud APIC, DCNM or NDFC for on-premises NXOS sites managed by Cisco NDFC or DCNM. Then, based on your selection, provide the site's information. If you are adding an ACI site, provide a site name to identify your site within Nexus Dashboard and specify the host name or IP address of the controller or controllers. Provide the username and password you use to login, and that's it. Optionally, provide your login domain only if you use a specific domain different than the default one, and specify your in-band EPG if you have one configured. As we mentioned before, inbound EPG is not needed unless you want to enable the inside service, which will be covered in a future chapter. If you are adding a Cloud ACI site, everything is pretty similar. Just provide the site name, the Cloud APIC host name or IP address, and your credentials. If your Nexus dashboard clusters needs to go through a proxy to reach out to your cloud environment, you will need to enable the proxy option. We will learn how to configure a proxy on Nexus Dashboard later in this chapter. Finally, if you are adding an NXOS site managed by DCNM or NDFC, just provide the DCNM or NDFC hostname or IP address and its credentials. If you have multiple fabrics in a given DCNM or NDFC environment, each fabric you choose will map to a site on Nexus Dashboard. For each site you add, you can optionally click on the geographical location map to specify where the site is located. Click Save to finish and you are done. We are back in the first time setup wizard. As a second step, there are times when you will need to configure a proxy to allow your Nexus Dashboard cluster to reach the internet. Why? Well, there are two major use cases. One, Nexus Dashboard has services such as Insights, Orchestrator, and more. And to enable them, Nexus Dashboard downloads their corresponding packages from the Cisco Application Center. You must allow your Nexus Dashboard cluster to reach out to it. And some organizations require a proxy to do this. And number two, when you have a cloud ACI environment and your Nexus dashboard cluster is installed on-premises, you will need to allow connectivity to the cloud APIC in AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud if they have a public IP. This connectivity might require a proxy in some organizations. 
To enable configure a proxy in Nexus dashboard using the first time setup wizard, let's click begin and then click on add server. You will need to indicate the type of traffic that you want to be proxied and the address for the proxy server. If the proxy server requires login credentials, provide the username and password. Remember that this second step in the first time setup wizard is optional and that you only need to configure it if you need the cluster to reach out to the internet through a proxy. That's it. If you need to add more sites in the future, you don't need to run the first time setup wizard again. Simply go to the Nexus dashboard main page and then click on sites and you should be able to add sites from there. If you want to modify or check your current proxy settings, you can always do so by clicking on cluster configuration. And this is it. Your sites are now onboarded and you are ready to start enabling services on your Nexus dashboard cluster as we will show in the next chapters.